So I'm going to be talking about Feather, which is a computational tool for studying single molecule force spectroscopy data. So here we have a typical experimental setup where we have a cantilever attached to a polyprotein. And what we'd like to do is get the free energy parameters using force spectroscopy. So how do we actually do this? So here's a force versus time cartoon where each of the domains of the protein we saw before are color-coded and we can see distinct rupture events that are marked by large slopes. And if you do this many times and apply a model, you can get energy landscape parameters. So we can see here in the top, we have many rupture forces or the force at the event location. And at the bottom, we can plot the most probable rupture force as a function of the local slope right before those events or the loading rate. And it turns out by fitting models such as the Bell-Evans model to this type of data, we can get energy landscape parameters. So how does this actually work? Well, if we human annotate some force versus time data, experimental data shown here, we get events marked by arrows in this case. And if we zoom in on one of those events, shown in the bottom plot, marked by the dotted magenta line, we can see there's true events, according to humans, and we can imagine an algorithm predicting events. And that's just what Feather's going to do. And there are two types of distances you can define, from a true event to the closest predicted event, and from a predicted event to the closest true event. And what the rest of this paper really shows is that Feather does a good job of predicting events that are very close to what a human would, and doesn't have very many false positives. And in addition, Feather's really good at reproducing the distribution of loading rates and rupture forces, which means using it should yield a very accurate energy landscape parameter estimation compared to what a human would do. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of the paper.